Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you a simple high win rate trading strategy. So let's get started. Open a Bitcoin 15 minute time frame and then in the indicator section, search for Chandler Exit by Evergate and add it to your chart. This indicator is based on ATR, but first let's change the settings of the indicator. So get into the input section and change the ATR period to 22 and the ATR multiplier two then click ok now let's see what are the trading rules of this strategy by its own it is so simple whenever you see a buy signal by the channel exit indicator you can place your buy order at the close of the trigger candlestick and you can set your stop loss on the channel exit indicator line and the take profit would be 1.5 times greater than the risk and we're only going to be looking to sell whenever we have a sell signal by the channel exit indicator so when we see the sell signal by the indicator we can put our sell order at the close of the trigger candlestick and we're gonna set our stop loss slightly above the chandelier exit line and the take profit would be one and a half times greater than the risk but i don't recommend to trade with this indicator by its own because in the range market the indicator plots false signals just like this example but there are so many ways to filter out these false signals so i'm gonna add the second indicator to the chart therefore in the indicator section search for macd or moving average convergence divergence and add it to your chart by clicking on its name this is how our macd indicator looks on the chart the macd consists of the histogram signal line and the macd line all right but we need to change the settings of the macd indicator so clicking on the settings button and then in the inputs tab change the fast length from 12 to 25 and the slow length from 25 to 50 then get into the style tab and disable these two options macd and signal because i want to make the strategy so simple but yet profitable and here's our setup with the macd indicator and see how well the macd filters out the false signals we have a sell signal by the chandler exit indicator but this sell signal is not confirmed with the macd indicator because the macd histogram is above the zero level and we're allowed to take only buy positions when the macd histogram is above the zero level so this sell signal is not confirmed but look at this buy signal we have a buy signal by the ce indicator and the histogram of the macd is above the zero line so this buy signal is valid and we're gonna set our stop loss slightly below the CE line and the target will be one and a half times the risk and look at this example this buy signal is also valid because the histogram of the MACD is above the zero line so this is a valid signal and look at this buy signal we have a buy signal by CE indicator and the histogram of the MACD is also above the zero level so it's valid so put your buy order at the close of the trigger candlestick and take a look at this sell signal we have a sell signal by the C indicator and the histogram of the MACD is below the zero level. It is a valid signal and you can put your sell order. But what about this buy signal? This buy signal is invalid because the histogram of the MACD is below the zero level. And also this sell signal is invalid due to the MACD indicator. But the next signal is valid because it is a buy signal and the histogram of the MACD is above the zero level. What about some other time frames? Let's take a look at 4 hour time frame. This is Bitcoin 4 hour time frame. And take a look at how great the MACD filters out the false signals. This buy signal is fake because the MACD indicator is under the zero level. What about the sell signal? The sell signal is valid because all the conditions are fulfilled and you can put your sell order at the close of the trigger candlestick. Now let's check it out on gold 1 hour time frame. The strategy works on any time frame and any chart, crypto, stocks, or forex, whatever market you wish to trade, you can trade with this strategy. Strategy. It is so simple but very accurate. Take a look at these examples and see how great the strategy works on the gold one hour time frame. Let's check it out on a stocks market. This is Tesla 30 minute time frame. This buy signal is valid because it's confirmed with the MACD indicator, but the next sell signal is invalid because the MACD is above the zero line. Take a look at this buy signal. This buy signal is also valid because all the conditions are fulfilled. And the next sell signal is also valid because the histogram of the MACD is below the zero level. But to make this strategy even more accurate and to trade with the direction of the market trend, let's add a moving average to the strategy to make the strategy even better. Therefore, in the indicator section, search for 10 in one different moving averages and click on it to add it to the chart. Now let's do our adjustments. Click on the settings button and then in the input section, change the MA1 to SMA and its length to 200. And you can also change the color and thickness of the moving average in the style 
trade section. So here's our accurate setup with three free trading view indicators. But first let's see how we can detect the market trend direction by the moving average. Whenever the price action is above the moving average, it means that the market is in an uptrend. And whenever the price action is below the moving average, it means that the market is in a downtrend. Now let's get into the trading rules. We're only going to be looking to buy whenever we have a buy signal by the Chandler exit indicator. And to confirm our buy signal, the histogram of the MACD should be above the zero level. So this is our second condition. And the third condition is that the trigger candlestick should close above the 200 moving average. And whenever all these conditions are met, we have a valid buy signal and we can put our buy order at the close price of the trigger candlestick and the stop loss would be just underneath the C indicator line and set your take profit at one and a half times greater than the risk and exactly opposite is also true for short order so we're only going to be looking to short whenever we have a sell signal by the C indicator and to confirm the sell signal the histogram of the MACD should be below the zero line and to trade with the trend direction of the market the close price of the trigger candlestick should be below the 200 period moving average so when all these conditions are met we have a valid sell signal and we can put our sell order at the close price of the trigger candlestick and the sub load would be just above the CE line and set your take profit one and a half times greater than the risk now let's check it out this trading example Right now you know all you need to know about this strategy so let's do the back this thing for 100 trades on bitcoin one minute time frame but before that if the video was useful so far it could be great if you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel because it really helps with the youtube algorithm all right now let's do the back this thing Here's our result. The video of the strategy was 83% and we increased our balance by 332%. I found those 100 setups within just 4 weeks and I had 7 consecutive wins against 2 consecutive losses during the back testing. And if you want to learn another great trading strategy, you need to watch this video.